This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Duh. That's right. Start of a new month. So Lilith is back for Peter. Anyway, welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast. I am Phil, joining me as always, like I said. It's Lilith Hellfire Suckers. Are you talking like you're in a 70s movie because these issues today are from the 70s? Probably. <laughs> Ah, that's groovy. All right. Well, <laughs> yes, because today we are talking the classic Amazing Spider-Man 100, 101, and 102 from September, October, and November 1971. So, before all of our, well, at least me and Lilith's time. <laughs> so, yes, uh... But if you're looking for a cheap way to uh, read these, uh, because there is a first appearance in, in these pages, uh, I'm sure this has been reprinted in trade somewhere, but you can probably find them real cheap in a back issue bin because they were reprinted in uh, Marvel Team Up uh, 251, 252, and 253. So. There's that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yes, they were reprinted in 1991. So. Ooh, 20 years after they were originally printed. I was going to say, just in time for the 20th anniversary. Yes. But of course, written, cre- <laughs> oh, we see this credits created and written by Stan Lee. Snap. <clears throat> and illustrated by Gil Kane. Well, at least this first issue. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is a, this is kind of a weird start. Yeah. Spider-Man swinging around the city. Thinking there's like, no- just the background where it's like black and white and oh. color. Oh, what on the first page? Yeah. Yeah, is it black and white? I know in the reprint that like the city's like blue. <laughs> yeah, in the original it's black and white. Oh, uh, so they must have tried to recolor it. Yeah, and then like the next page is kind of turned into yellow. It's like it slowly like gains life and color. Yeah. So yeah, Spider Man's swinging around thinking there's nothing for him to do, but then. Oh, maybe Gwen's home, but before he can get over there. <laughs> maybe she is, or maybe she's hanging out on a bridge. Who knows? Oh! Oh, ho, ho! Still better? Probably. What the F? <laughs> uh, what's that down there? Gunman racing out of the bank. Ah, the simple days. <laughs> I know, I was just about to say. You don't have to be a genius to know what that adds up to. Uh. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> but then a cop shows up and starts opening fire in the middle of the crowd in New York Street. Uh, look out, it's Spider-Man! Spider-Man! <laughs> hey, look! The flat-foot-winged Benny shot him with no and no blood came out. Exactly. But yeah, Spider-Man... What is this, a Captain America issue? A Punisher issue? <laughs> a Conan the Barbarian issue? The A-Team? What? <laughs> but yeah, so... Spider-Man beats up most of the guys, but one jumps in his car and gets away. Well, thinks he's getting away until he runs into it. Ooh, that's a nice little car there. I know, I was going to say, is that like a... Yeah. I only know 60s muscle cars. I don't know 70s muscle cars. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, Ian Stanley might have just created it, but... Or Gil Kane, whoever. But yeah, the guy runs into a web net. (laughs) But he's going to shoot (laughs) Spider-Man until he... Again, webs up his gun hand and picks him up. Exactly. Here, here. Is that kind of like, hey, my bolts don't work on Superman. Let me whip the gun at him. Ah, <laughs> uh, crooks. Now, here's the thing about this issue. And he even address- It's funny. I didn't get as much of a charge out of tackling those jokers as I used to. Even- so he was doing it for the thrills, son? I guess. Even- Spidey was doing it for the thrills? So what did we did we did we kind of lay back on the power and responsibility for a while and just like man it gives me a kick <laughs> even swing I guess <laughs> even, even swinging around town this way isn't the same old kick oh what's got you down Petey? 
Even the even the swinging brings me no love anymore. I'm just plain. Sound this out to a therapist. I'm just plain bored. Well, he's a young kid. You know, I get it. I used to think I was better than those people down there on the street. See, but now I'm beginning to wonder. At least they're really living. Oh. I'm watching from the sidelines. Oh, he's hey. got some teenage angst. Maybe I'm finally growing up. At last. Maybe I'm beginning to realize there's more to life than being a corny costume clown. Um. Oh, you're you're offending your audience, buddy. You better bring this reel this in real quick. He's thinking about Gwen. See, I might as well admit it. I know what I want, and Gwen Stacy is it. Sure, buddy. Sure. Okay. Uh, can we you believe ma- you, buddy? Can you imagine if he found a way to give up his powers for Gwen and then the goblin still killed her? <gasps> how, hey, bro, how bad would it be if when in one more day he's just like, no, nah, I just want Gwen to be alive. Sorry, Mary Jane. <laughs> Supp- <laughs> you ain't the one. <laughs> Supposedly, I heard a rumor. I thought there was, there was talk about bringing her back that way and I, I don't know who killed the idea, but they're like, that, yeah, that no, 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 no. Been like a mini series because that would have been so much backlash. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, Harry Osborn was back and they're like, well, how the hell does that work? Oh, yeah. You definitely have to get a mini series to explain how you brought Gwen back. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it for like a what if or whatever, though. True. Yes. That's why we have what ifs in Marvel, not, you know, in but, Ultimate Universe. But, I- I'm just saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> no but, shade. No shade. But yeah, Pete's thinking how Gwen still blames Spider Man for her father's death, even though it was. Dr. Octopus who, sma- who smashed that chimney. <laughs> Fight me, Charlie. Isn't like his main problem with every loved one in his family at this point? <laughs> Aunt May hates Spider-Man. Gwen hates Spider-Man. Yeah. It's tough to keep my secret identity for her now, but once we were married, the strain could be too great. <gasps> he was going to keep that secret even if he married her. Ooh. And this is how you know Mary Jane's is true love, guys. That's right. So I, got, I can't put it off any longer. I've got to give up being Spider-Man forever. Because that always works. Spider-Man, no, no more forever. <laughs> so yeah, he gets gets back. Throw to, it in the trash. Throw it out. Gets back to the apartment, thinking, "Boy, it's lucky Harry's still in the hospital, you know, from his bad drug trip." See, he was ill last issue. Remember? Thank you, Stan. Took some bad medicine. See, <laughs> and that's why drugs are bad. Okay. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I need time. I need time to concentrate and complete privacy. It was an accident that created Spider-Man. What I do now must be perf- deliberate and perfectly planned. In order, in order for Peter Parker to really live, Spider-Man must die. Get it, guys? And that desk didn't do anything to you, Peter. Stop banging on it. <laughs> so then we just get the montage of uh, him working at science. I've been working, working day and night. <laughs> mixing, mixing chemicals and stuff. Uh <laughs> I've always been thinking about it because who knows what my radioactive blood could do to me, but I never knew when I might need a potion to make me normal. <laughs> potion? This is magic? Okay. I was going to say, well, what's in here? Uh, Did I have, he call it Dr. Strange? I have Newt. <laughs> I have Newt. What is it? Hair of Toad or whatever. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hair of Black Cat, maybe? I don't know. I mean, they show him mixing the chemicals wearing these same clothes, but then he's like, I finished it months ago and always kept it ready. He, he's just he's just hitting it with a little tonic water to freshen it up. I guess, but he's just like, <laughs> there's no way to my test. My head, my ears. The only, yeah, no, no. the only way to test it is to take it. So he drinks it. You're, you're not a good scientist, buddy. This this is what happened to Kurt Connors. Just so we're clear. That's right. Uh, you never know. What the, one thing's for sure: when it's over, I'll never be the same. He almost killed himself for Gwen, guys. <laughs> I did it for you, Gwen. I did it for you, Gwen. I did it for you. You ungrateful hag. I did it for you. So, yeah. So, he lays down in bed and he basically starts tripping. <laughs> Get, oh, at least th- th- these are montages. At least they're not the guilty floating heads. Although Aunt May could be considered the gu- a guilty floating head. Yeah, because, yes. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Aunt May always feel responsible for Uncle Ben. If only I'd stop the killer. Take a drink, future love. <laughs> <laughs> Why must everything I touch end in tragedy? But there's only one thing I can do. You know, they show him getting a job with Jameson. He hates me, but he hates Spider-Man even more. If he ever found out my secret... This is so angsty. Oh, Lord. 
And then, if not for being Spider-Man, I'd have won Betty Brant instead of Ned Leeds. <laughs> Let her go, Peter. Really? We're still talking about Betty? Really? She's not a good person, Peter. Come on. I know. Again, this is only F- issue 100, so it's been what? I don't know. A few years. A few years. Uh, But now it's Gwen I truly love. Oh, wait. But now it's Gwen I truly love. Who's that way behind Gwen back there? The hair don't look red, but is that Mary Jane? It's only been eight years. Sure, we can use a recap. <laughs> <laughs> we can use a recap. And when her father died, I almost lost her, too. Will she always blame me for Captain Stacy's death? Props? Why must everything turn to tragedy? This is so angsty it hurts, guys. I know. But then, oh, I hear a voice calling for help. Remember, he's dreaming this whole thing. The voice is fading, growing weaker as he's climbing a building, but then he gets attacked by... The it's the Vulture! <laughs> Spider-Man, your time has come at last. You weren't the voice that called. <laughs> so yeah, he's like trying to catch the vault, catches the Vulture by the legs. You mustn't harm me, you only harm your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh my lord. Burn. Then you, then even you know, but you mustn't tell. You mustn't, as he smacks the vulture away. The vulture is finished, but I still hear the cry. It comes from all around me, pleading my name, as he gets hit by the lizard's tail. Boy, this this version of the lizard is very chatty, Kathy. I've waited for months, knowing yeah. that someday they find you. Well, this is the early version. You know, the longer it goes, the more animalistic he gets. I guess True. that's my head. Yeah. Of course I didn't call. I waited. Yeah, he caught him insane though, so you know, so you know his subconscious is like, bro. Yes. Oh yeah, because yeah, the lizard even says you're insane, Spider-Man. You've always been insane. <laughs> no, no, don't ever say that ever. <laughs> I can't know the Flip truth. Right in the face. Good job, Pete. That's right. It's the one thing you must never say. <laughs> the one thing I must never hear. I've, I've always worried, wondered about my sanity. Um, you are friends with Harry, so I, I could see that. That that could be contagious. Why would somebody normal live this life? I can never find the answer. Um, there's like tons of mass superheroes and vigilantes in the Marvel Universe. Excuse me? <laughs> I know. Excuse me? Is, is Stan talking about all his creations here? <laughs> <laughs> he was having a midlife crisis, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. wanted to be a novelist, not this crap. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, while the lizard's still trying to rip that webbing off his head, Spider-Man's like, I hear the voice again, and takes off. It's coming from, it's coming from everywhere at once. Maybe it's because it's your subconscious, idiot. Was the lizard right? Am I really mad? And then he gets uh, zapped. <laughs> what does it matter if you're mad or not? <laughs> that mocking voice can only be the green goblin. This time you must be the vanquished. You were born to lose? You're a loser? Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> you never won anything. You never really succeeded. All you ever did was you managed to survive. Ooh, this is like right in the millennial feels right here, guys. I know. <laughs> but you could tell the period this is in because he's like, no Green Goblin, because then the other, you know, modern day, he'd be like, shut up, Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't choke, Lil. <laughs> Ugh. Go ahead, throw it in. Uh, so yeah, Spider-Man's falling off the building. He's wrong. You must be wrong. My life can't have been one entire waste. Well, um, some days I wonder, Pete. All, after all you tried to do for people, you're still hated, still despised. You'll never, you've never made it. You never will. Where's Uncle Bennett? Come on. That's when he kicks him. Shut up. No more. Maybe, a, maybe survival is all that anyone can hope for. Man, Ooh, how, this is bleak nihilism right here. I was going to say, how cheery is this issue? All we can do is try to survive. Oh, Lord, here we go. My side, why does it pain me so? Nobody hit me there. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Oh, Listen no. Wait till he wakes up. Wait till he wakes no, up. No, no, I know. I'm just mm. saying. <laughs> uh, that would have been a better plot twist, to be honest. <laughs> yes, but he's still he's still walking along the rooftops thinking, who's calling me who? But then he gets grabbed from above. By tentacles, shiny, sparkly, not quantum tentacles, but shiny, sparkly tentacles, none the same. Superior tentacles? Quantum. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh my. So, yes, fool, did you think you'd heard the last of Doc Ock? <laughs> How can you be here one at a time? It never happened before. Uh, besides that annual. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Annuals don't count, 
apparently. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, didn't Stan write that? Uh, someone whose whole, anything can happen to you. Someone whose whole life has been a fraud and a lie. Ooh, you thought yourself a do-gooder, but all you ever really wanted was fame, glory, thrills. Should have been a wrestler, bro. <laughs> That's what you should have asked Mephisto, Mephisto for. Uh, I didn't want my power. I got it by accident. But once I had it, I couldn't stand by and not use it. Why can't anyone understand? As he grabs those tentacles. Because we all know the truth. <laughs> As he grabs those tentacles. You were guilted into it? We all know the truth. Exactly. Why can't I face the fact that even I don't understand? As he smashes Hawk into a building. Subconscious is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he dropped some acid. That's what's in that stuff. My side hurts worse than ever now. Uh-oh. But I still feel the call. He's got, he gave himself an enema, guys. It's not good. <laughs> I know. As he's swinging and he's like, it's the voice of a man, a voice I've heard before. Why can't I recognize it? I know it's the voice of a friend. I can feel it as he gets to another rooftop and the pain's <laughs> getting worse. But oh, look, in this stylish, <laughs> in this stylish, <laughs> I don't know what the color is in that, but in this uh, Marvel Tales reprint, that jacket is orange. The pants are green. Yeah, we got kind of like a, a, a golden mustard yellow Ugh. and green and green pants. Yeah, he's not the most stylish guy. Who's he, an anchor man or a caddy? Come on. <laughs> You'll feel no pain when I'm through with you. You'll feel nothing. <laughs> but it wasn't your voice. The kingpin just like smacking him around. Maybe I have been a failure, but I've never been a quitter. And I won't be now. I won't. I won't. Oh, look! A floating head, but no, it's not Uncle Ben. Yes, because he takes off because it's Captain Stacy. Yeah, after a while, this floating head goes away, basically. <laughs> well, after, you know, <laughs> he's replaced by his daughter after a while. Exactly. Uh, listen, Peter, I know your secret. I know who you really are and what you are, but the tragedy is that you don't really know. But you're dead. How can I hear you? Even a voice that's been stilled can be heard if you only listen. Oh, Lord, Lilith, line up your shots. You have been given great power, and you've tried to use it for good. No man could do more. There have been others, others with power who tried, yet they too were jeered, misunderstood, hated, and finally destroyed. I'm just waiting for Uncle Ben to be standing over uh, Captain Stacy's shoulder going, mm-hmm, 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 what he tell said. Him. What he said. I tried to tell the boy, I tried to tell him. And look where it got me. I'm, I'm a fisto now. <laughs> oh... <laughs> You have tortured yourself by trying to live a normal life, but you cannot. Captain Stacy, don't go. A house divided cannot stand. A George divided against itself cannot stand. <laughs> uh, but Peter starts waking up and he's like, I'm awake, yet my side's still aching. Even worse than it was in a dream. How can that be? The potion. It must have something to do with the potion. <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I mean, now I, you look like a spider. I mean, in this, in these two panels, he says potion like three times because I wanted it to change me as he rips off his shirt, but not like this. That's right. This is where he gets the six arms, people. Eh, 90s Spider-Man did it better. What, the cartoon? <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so. Oh, important note. There'll be no cap out. We promise you. Spidey is really awake. He has six arms. And our tale will be continued next issue. And we'll never go back on it. I mean, some chicks did six, six arms, you know? Oh, that's what you need to keep up with a little hellfire. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but loyal listeners, we have our friend, our good friend Ray from uh, Into the Night and Moon Night podcast has really come through. He sent feedback for each individual issue this time. So... Lilith, would you like to hear what Ray had to say about issue 100? Sounds like a plan, Jan! (laughs) Ah, there you go. Uh, hold on. No, I don't want to take a screenshot. Uh, alright. Here's Ray from Into United, Moon Knight Podcast. Hello, Phil and Lilith. This is Ray. Hi, Ray. I'm going to drop in some thoughts on your episode about Amazing Spider-Man 100 to 102. Sounds like a plan, Jan. So I'm just going to do maybe like one one at a time, uh, and I just read Amazing Spider-Man 100, and I've got to say I really did enjoy it. It's a it's an old classic. Um, for me, that's a sort of um, that that is my Peter Parker and and Spidey. Um, and I'm just going to pull it up. The uh, yeah, so Gil Kane, uh, yeah, he he draws a really cool 
uh, Peter Parker, uh, more so. Uh, but Spider Man's very cool in it as well. Uh, I, just some thoughts. Um, you can you can see for sure back in these days uh, the the lack of the Todd McFarlane influence. Mm. The very very acrobatic. Um, swinging Spider-Man. He's very much more conventional here, just just kind of swinging by, uh, almost like Tarzan. But we know that Todd McFarlane kind of introduced those really flexible poses that Peter uh, or Spider-Man uses uh, as he swings through the city. Uh, a, a very classic story, um, very kind of uh, charming in the sense of its simplicity. Uh, it's it just you can kind of it's on the nose now these days. You can see it's just a a little bit of a uh, an excuse to have Spidey just fight all his main villains um, and kind of create the scenario where he's able to fight all his main villains, uh, as well as there being this, um, I guess, burning mystery as to why he's aching on his sides Burn. and he can hear a voice. Uh, when I was reading it, I actually thought that, number one, it had something to do with the potion that he drank, um, which it turned out it did. Uh, but number two, I thought the voice was, was someone probably trying to wake him up, but... Uh, turns out it was um, it was Captain Stacy, uh, and uh, I guess the, the the symbolism as well is pretty much on the nose as well. Uh, all the comments uh, and the interactions that Spidey has with his enemies, you can tell uh, the insecurities that Spidey's had within himself, um, which was kind of set up at the very beginning when he's kind of looking on and saying that he's watching life on the sidelines. Um, I found also his uh, quest to get rid of his powers. I don't know, I just found it very reminiscent of uh, Dr. Bruce Banner and the Hulk and uh, trying to find a cure for what he's got. Uh, but I did not pick the ending, which was pretty cool. So uh, we've got uh, Spider-Man literally now with eight limbs. Uh, so pretty fun. I I'm going to get on to issue 101. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you know what I think of that very, very soon. Yeah, take that, Doc Ock. He's got re eight real limbs, not just sparkly tentacles. Take Ooh, that. ho, ho, ho. Yes, how superior do you feel now? Could you imagine? That That would be an absolute nightmare. Yes, yes. Especially trying to get control of him. Yeah. Petey's got a date for almost every night of the week. <laughs> got an extra working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so should we get to 101? Oh man, this is some um this is some uh, horror inspired which fair. Oh yeah, which I guess I guess Stan Lee just wanted to write issue 100 because yeah, this issue and the next one are written by Roy Thomas. Yeah. Cuz Stan Lee's just the editor. So he's like, "Here, I gave him six arms. Go." <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> and still Gil Kane on art, so. Uh, oh. Lord, but yes, there's Peter standing there. Good Lord, I've created a potion. To Again, potion. And I drank it, even though it was untried and untested. Duh. I wanted it to change me forever, but not like this. <laughs> not like this. See, now I can't go getting up all in Kurt Connor's face. <laughs> well, he forgets, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> I know. At first, I thought it was all part of my nightmare, but it wasn't. I really have six arms. I didn't shed my spider powers. Instead, my serum did the op. Now it's a serum. <laughs> Instead, it did the opposite of what I intended. I became even more of a, like a spider. And it's just sinking in my condition may be permanent. Yeah, right. I never expected... Oh, I love how he's like, I'm a freak. Step right this way, folks. Only 25 cents in two box stops to see the human spider. But I just love how he never expected, again, his potion, the backfired. And I know, so I never bothered to develop an antidote. Good thinking. <laughs> Slow clap it out for Peter Parker. The exactly. Uh, that's that Parker. Think you become a character. You've got to give this little saga a happy ending. Okay, Stan, calm down, buddy. <laughs> well, no, it's Roy Thomas. Remember? Sure it is. Thank you, Roy. Oh, Lord, then the phone rings. Who's that? <laughs> Who could that be? Who could be crying? Probably Ed Sullivan. <laughs> uh, but no, it's Gwen. It's Gwendy. Peter, I was hoping I'd corner you at home. Now, don't I say bet a, you did, you little minx. <laughs> now, don't say a word. Just settle back and listen. This is your lucky night, man of mine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Go on. 
Okay. Uh, in our honor of Betty Friedman's birthday, I've decided to play Liberated Woman and treat you to the R-rated flick of your choice. Dang, son. <laughs> I should warn you, I've already seen Love Story, but I've got enough Kleenex left to sit through it again. Ooh, you could cover my eyes during the spicy parts. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Betty Friedman uh, is a American feminist writer and activist. Just in case you don't know. Look, I may as well be frank with you. Okay, Frank, go ahead. <laughs> I can't see you tonight. Fact is, I'm going to be out of town. Maybe a while long. Maybe for a while. Peter, you sound so strange. What is it? Is it something I did? Why? Got a guilty conscience? Did you sleep with Osborne? Did you? <laughs> Dang. Oh, that, that's the real. Because I think it. I think they even said it did come down around that time when Harry was like tripping. So that line kind of scary, scarily works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm pr what? She's just like, yes, Peter. I, I understand. I won't bother you any longer. <gasps> Bye. Oh. I said good day, sir. Maybe that's why she's crying so much. She's all pregnancy hormones. <gasps> and he threw her off the bridge to get rid of the kid. I see. I'm Here's telling it. you, that's seriously. I mean, <laughs> he knew that was gonna be that was gonna do two things. You know, it was gonna hurt Peter Parker, and then, yeah, he's gonna cover up his uh, indiscretion. You know what? Hmm? We all might be on it. We we all thought it secretly. <laughs> Maybe Stan had it planned all along. Oh, uh, but Peter's like, snap out of it. Think positive. Think of all the extra power those limbs will give you. Uh, did he sew those extra sleeves on to that jacket? You would think. You... <laughs> <laughs> well, we made his costume. But he's like, I but... Mean, spandex is a lot easier to work with, but okay. But all I can think about is <laughs> Aunt May, if she sees this, the, her, her bad heart, it could kill her. Well, you only really wish. I mean, well, yeah. She, she, she's been 90 for 90 years, bro. <laughs> if it does, then I'll have come full circle and Spider-Man will be the monstrous menace the world already thinks he is. Oh, Lord. You know, in pop fiction, the masked heroes are always looking for a gimmick that'll strike terror in the hearts of evil doers. He mentions the shadow. <gasps> Ray's favorite. Batman. Fa Batman. Ray's favorite. Even a guy called the <laughs> there Spider. There was even once. a guy called Spider once. Yeah. <laughs> The only person you'll scare more than the crooks is yourself every time you look in a mirror. Now what? Why is my phone ringing? Who is he, me? I seriously, now who am I going to have to tell to kiss off? Maybe it's a nice, wholesome, obscene phone call. This is you. <laughs> it, it feels like that. But it's Joe Robertson. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> uh, Jonah. Yeah, ask him already. Peter, got a little assignment for you? If you're still our part-time staff photographer? Remember, you had a job, son. Remember? We need, yeah, we need pics of a bank stick up. <laughs> uh, thanks. By the way, I'm skipping town for a while, heading off. A case of mono. <laughs> I warned you about that Stacy girl, see? <laughs> exactly. He is Jonah on his way to the country for a rest cure. <laughs> I love how he's like, easy, Jonah. You act like this was a toll call. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Penny pension, Jonah. <laughs> So, he said it's the middle of the night, but meanwhile, they're both at the office. Well, no, they're, they're news guys. That makes sense True. to me. Especially True. newspapers back in the day. So, that makes sense. Yeah, but Jameson, you would think Jameson would be, like, paying people to be there in the middle of the night, you know. No, of course. Any any staff he can send home, he will, and he'll do it. Oh, okay. Come on. Penny Pentry. Yeah. I see it. Exactly. The Bugle will be a laughing stock if we stock. We don't get pictures of that hold up. Really? <laughs> it's hyperbolic. It's fine. It's Peter Parker who worries me. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is really great. Ten minutes as a human centipede. Human centipede? Oof. Don't ever Google that or watch that movie. You'll have nightmares for life. <laughs> I've already probably lost my girl, blown my job. Gotta get away somewhere. There's one guy. that's what you need. Fresh country air. Wait a minute. There's a, as he makes like Thanos. Wait a minute. There's one guy who's got a pad made to order. Pad, get it? Of course, and it's in Florida. Get it? He calls the Florida. Right oh in. no! <laughs> I have to, I have to avoid the armadillos, but and yeah. the gators. Yep. So he calls Kurt Connors. <laughs> Spider Man, did you say? Sorry, whoever you are, but I don't buy it. Why would Spider Man be calling the Everglades? 
So Pete's like, okay, got Doc, no time for games. Who besides Spider-Man knows you used to be the creature called the lizard? Because, <laughs> again, it was a secret at this point. Yeah, I thought that would do it. Something happened to me, Doc, like the accident that turned you into a monster. I need a place to stay. Oh, and you recalled that I once mentioned my place in Southampton? Look, you helped me too often, and I couldn't turn you down if I wanted to. The summer house is yours. You know as the long as you need it. Look at that face, though. <laughs> you know the address. You the know the address, and the key's under the front stoop. <laughs> Why do you have a fully equipped lab in your summer home? Your wife must love you, bro. <laughs> hey, man, it's cheaper. Must to, love it. It's cheaper, cheaper to manufacture your own Viagra. Point. Good point. Valid points. <laughs> you know the address and the keys under the front stoop. Uh, and then Pete just hangs up. Uh, getting so, that money out of the cookie jar. Classic. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to get on the stick. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, you know what that means, little hellfire. <laughs> um, I mean, I do, but not in this context. <laughs> There's only one context for that for me. Oh, yes. Not too much to pack. <clears throat> Go ahead, throw it in. Uh, unless Peter Parker leaves for exotic Long Island, or does he? Mm, can't yeah, take right. Ride, luggage, heavy suitcases. One stray breeze flaps my coat open. It's goodbye, secret identity. So since I can't carry a phone booth on my back, it better be Spider-Man who makes the trip. Time to flip, flip, flip all the way to Florida. <laughs> and he's like, "Sorry, I left the sorry I left the apartment. It was such clutter, roomy. Maybe I'll be back to give you a hand and a hand and a hand." Better <laughs> late next time, Bunky. Oh. <laughs> See you later, Bunky. Oh, uh, good lord. So, yes, he swings off. Oh, what in? <laughs> I guess the extra arms are just flailing around. <laughs> it's these extra arms flailing around like crazy. Better get it together, homie. Yep. Well, I guess I should have practiced with all six arms before I made, like, Kazar. <laughs> <sighs> but my Spiro Agnew wristwatch tells me it's nearly dull. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, this is an old guy's... Yeah. Something tells me if I'm not out of town by sunup, this is one dawn that's really going to come up like thunder. Thunder! So yeah, so he's, he's getting control of them arms. Uh, Here we go, guys. He's learning. He's doing it. He, he's oh. like John... Oh, John Carradine, really? He calls them He calls them extra members. <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> uh, Talk about your members only club. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, he hops on a train, and sometime later, the Long Island Railroad loses a somewhat colorful passenger. And nope, he didn't pay that f the fare. Thank you, Stan. What do you think he was going to? <laughs> so yeah, so he's walking up a beach, and then the guy finds the uh, house. Can't see why Doc does all his research in a Florida swamp, and he's got the house of Dracula right here in Southampton. Get it? All it needs is Tony Perkins in a fright wig. <laughs> Are we talking Psycho? <laughs> and Connors could sublet it to Alfred Hitchcock. But yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, stop it. It's dawn, not night. And this is hardly a haunted house. Or is it? He said, at least until I got here. <laughs> the place is empty, I know it is. So why is my spider sense tingling to beat the band? Why do I feel an aura emanating from its direction? An aura of death and decay? Because we got... That's right, because, uh... Dr. Morbius, the living vampire. Maybe it's... Oxymoronic. Oh, uh -huh, because maybe it's not the house, but out in the ocean. On this freighter or whatever, yeah. The crew's like, what's with that guy below decks? It's, we had nothing but bad luck in vanishing crewmen ever since he found them adrift in the middle of the ocean. What is this? Uh, interview with the vampire? <laughs> And they're like, let's get him. So they go down to the engine room. There he is. He says, no, please go back. I just want to get to shore. I don't want to hurt anyone. So they attack. They all jump on him and start attacking him. Uh, hold him down. He's trying to break free. Correction, swine. I am free. <laughs> and so he like busts free and then he heads up. Oh, my. How heavy my. How lead in my limbs feel. <laughs> but it's the middle of the day. Get it? Yeah. So, yes, he's hiding. Uh, they, they're looking for him, but oh, it, once the night falls, comes out in his fancy costume, and now his 
Oh, skin's all white. I'm almost as great a fool as they. <laughs> After ease and moment's anguish, I nearly surrendered myself to their tender mercies. But now it's night, and night belongs to Morbius. Morbius! <laughs> oh, Lord, all right. Here's a little hell. All right, replace Morbius with little hellfire in a sentence. For the for the darkness is a time for strange thirsts, and when Morbius or little hellfire thirsts, it must be quenched. It must be quenched. <laughs> oh, you should have cracked a can at that point. Oh. so it's you. Uh, why are you looking at me that way? What are you gonna do? Oh, keep back. And I guess he just like tasty little meat bags takes out the whole crew. I've triumphed over them all. My thirst is a sage. For another hellish night, I live while they are all dead. So, Lilith Hellfire leaps off the ship with all the dead boyfriends still up there. Exactly. No no digging required this time. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we see finally, I guess by the next day, Morbius makes it to a certain beach. Convenient. Yes, because Sun saps his strength. So, uh, yes, he goes up to the belfry and hangs like a bat. Get it? I mean, we did mention Batman in this issue, so I guess it's fair game. Plus, I can sleep the dead sleep once more. This is Lilith. <laughs> Until it is night. And again, back in the, what is it, the basement? <laughs> He's like, uh, Spider-Man, two days, I've accomplished nothing. All I've done is waste Doc's chemicals. I wish I could give him one of these arms to replace the one he lost. Here, Doc. Would you oh. Like, here, Doc, would you like some fancy Peter Parker fingerprints? <laughs> Can I, can I interrupt this sure. issue for one second? Sure. So apparently, Morbius won't be out until March 19th, 2021. Oh. We'll have to so do we're going to have to do, we'll do more another more. Morbius month. Yeah, we'll either do it here or Comic Capers or Beth. Yeah. So just a little update in case anybody actually cared. Yes, we're doing it now. You know, you don't. The movie was supposed <laughs> to be out now, I think, like the last week of July, so. Yeah. This, But we got you, the Morbius. So. In case you were wondering why we're doing Morbius in August. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's mixing the chemicals, and Spider-Man's like, nothing, it's not working. Uh, but it's the end of... Impotent it, fool. It's the end of a second fruitless day, just before sunset, to be exact. <laughs> but, yeah, Morbius, who, who's that man with six arms? His costume looks familiar. Yeah, I can't remember. Plenty of veins to drink from! Yeah! <laughs> nothing matters except the ra ravening thirst of little Hellfire. Again, a thirst which must be quenched. So, yeah, he runs into Spider-Man. I don't know who you are, fella. They sure know how to make an entrance. <laughs> Saying nothing, just choking Spider-Man. His face, it's hideous and humanly white. He's like a costume version of a vampire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Morbius tackles him. His fang is going for my throat. And I was right. I don't dare believe it until now. You are some kind of vampire. A spider versus a bat. Who's gonna win? Uh, yes, I guess your tiny mind would label me thus. <laughs> but yeah, so see, I got Spider Man on the ropes. He's like, I'm tired working two days almost. Look, look at that punch he gives him, dude. I know, what? man. <laughs> I know, he punches him off the uh, staircase, man. I mean, that's like a worthy Sal Buscema punch, man. Like a Sal right Indeed. cross. <laughs> nice splash page. <laughs> That is much better. He lies so deathly still. And as he's about to feast on Spider-Man, Kurt Connors walks in. Step in the light. Good lord. <laughs> Keep away from me. You don't know what can happen. Uh-oh. Don't make him angry. Yeah, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Yes, because he starts changing into the lizard. So Spider-Man wakes up and he's surrounded by Morbius and the lizard. Two. Two monsters for the price of one. Let them Fight. Let the monsters hit the floor. <laughs> exactly. So, any thoughts on this before we listen to Ray's feedback? Um, no, this was a good, fun, cheesy issue. <laughs> Why must I be a monster? <laughs> Alright, so yes, part two of Ray's feedback. Hello, Phil and Lilith. This is Ray. Um, some more quick thoughts on issue 101 of the amazing spider-man i am loving this uh, i've just finished it literally just put it down uh and Good that journey. last the last act i guess of where kurt connors comes in and you got spidey um having been beaten by morbius and he's got the lizard to contend with uh, this this stuff is gold 
gold. Um, it's cool, Jerry. Loving it. Uh, I enjoyed the. I'm assuming this is the first appearance appearance of Morbius. Um, it's a great little origin. Him being on the ship, it's quite quite spooky. Can you imagine a whole ship kind of comes into port somehow, and there's just all these dead uh, dead crew members uh, and and Morbius um, having you know taken taken all their blood. It'd be interesting because. I guess later on down the track, his character is developed. At the moment, he's very much a um, just a a vampire. So, um, yeah, be very interesting to see how that develops. But um, overall, I like this whole thing about Spidey with his six arms, <laughs> trying to figure out a cure. Um, I think the irony is not lost on Spidey that he calls Kurt Connors, who has a missing arm. And he, uh, I actually, I thought it would be a, an ultimate slap in the face if Spidey met up with Kurt Connors and, you know, parading around with his six arms and poor Kurt just with the one. Um, but anyway, um, we, we do get them both together at the end. Uh, yeah, so uh, just Spidey, this predicament, it's a, it's a strange one, isn't it? With his, uh, his six limbs, he's coming, uh, his six arms, he's trying to come to terms with it. Um, but again, th- this builds on the previous issue and uh, I like this one. Uh, a lot more than than issue 100, although I do like issue 100. So yeah, again, classic Spidey, classic Amazing Spider-Man, um, loving it by Stan Lee and uh, and Gil Kane and Roy Thomas, I think, steps in um, for the writing. But very good. Anyway, I'm gonna read 102 now, uh, which should wrap up this funny, entertaining tale. Thank you, Ray. So yes, uh, <laughs> so we get to our final one. 102, which is this, it's oversized, right? Because, like, my Marvel Tales is oversized, I believe. Um, yeah, I think so. So, so it's like, wait, so 100 wasn't oversized, but 102 was oversized? It was a mess. It's fine. <laughs> Roy Thomas. They, they, like, they didn't try that hard back in the day. It's like, you got an oversized when they felt like it, when the story deserved it, and I appreciate it. I mean, I guess, uh, you know, they're like, ah, 100 stands right now. That's good enough for the kids. But then Roy Thomas. Pretty much. Roy Thomas got through his second issue. He's like, oh, man, I need more room to clean up this mess. Come on. Honestly, that's probably exactly how it happened. (laughs) Probably. Oh, special 102. It's like, Stan gives me this mess and I got to clean it up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, yeah. So, Amazing Spider-Man 1. O two. O two. Vampire at large. All right. Uh, but so yes, Spider Man wakes up surrounded. Man or man, man or man like lizard stand away from the chosen victim of Morbius. And lizard's like, no, I must be the one to slay him. So, Just split them straight down the middle. Oh, King Solomon, that stuff, man. But yeah, so page two is basically just a recap of the last two issues. How we got here? As you do. That's why it needed to be oversized. We had to recap this mess. Yes. So, I guess they're fighting over Spider-Man, so Lizard and Morbius are going at like, it. Like, who do they think they are? Brandy and Monica? He's mine. <laughs> are they Mary Jane and Gwen? Exactly. But yeah, so, Pete's thinking, oh, my head's still throbbing from where that would-be vampire tossed me off the landing. He's seeing stars. He's seeing stars. But he's like, oh, the Lizard smacks Morbius with his tail, but then Morbius grabs and swings him around. He's like, the lizard doesn't... Ugh, again, if the lizard doesn't get on the stick, he's not going to fare any old, better than old Liz. Then he, what is Doc <laughs> Connor? Yeah, because Morbius has thrown him around the lab. Mm. You'll find Morbius far more powerful than he seems. Oh, God. He speaks in third person. You know he's evil. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the lizard can monologue with the best of them in these early issues. Now, you shall find that I am precisely as strong as I appear, which is strong indeed. Backhands of one. <laughs> now, for the final time, leave Spider Man to me! Uh, I only desire his. I just hear Starscream's voice for some reason. Megatron! Sure it's not, Co- <laughs> sure not Cobra Commander? No, no. Josh, it won't say different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the joke, get it? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But Morbius says he only desires Spider-Man's blood, though perhaps yours would do as well. Lizard. I wouldn't 
want no lizard blood. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want hu- a spider a spider human hybrid blood either. Just to be honest, oh, these are all terrible choices. Oh please! A couple <laughs> months ago, you were gonna eat alligator. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I want to drain the blood out. I mean, it comes pre drained. I'm just saying, and they they deep fry it. Everything tastes better deep fried. You don't have to think about it. <laughs> This is turning into a real free for all, and the door prize is your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. More like a no prize. Oh! <laughs> a Spider Man's just clinging to the wall, watching them fight until Morbius knocks the lizard into some equipment. Or he gets shocked. Mm. Oh, we could have saved it for Shocktober. Oh! But yeah, knocks the lizard out where Morbius is able to bite him. Right in the lizard's scaly neck. Ew. And then so Spider-Man swings down and... Somebody's got salmonella. That's all I'm saying. Oh! But yeah, Spider-Man swings down and kicks Morbius. He's like, either I'm not as weak as I feel, or this creep's a lot lighter than he looks. Uh... Oh, he says... Not the Christmas tree! <laughs> uh... But yes, the lizard's blood was cold. I would have feasted upon the blood of the fallen man monster. Not your own. Now I feast I must. For I, little hellfire, are not like other women. <laughs> uh, mystery got ghost white skin, eyes like blazing candles, and bones that have got to be hollow. Oh, well, Lilith has a hollow leg. <laughs> I didn't think you were John Q. Citizen. Just to the devil are you? I've been speaking in third person this whole time. I am Morbius. <laughs> that is all right. you know. Uh, Spider-Man, wait, you fascinate me? Tell me more. <laughs> Morbius, mock me even as you seek precious moments to regain your strength. But yeah, Morbius just takes off saying he's going to drink the world. A world right to become the prey of Morbius. <laughs> as, he glides al- as he glides away. Oh, with a consolation. Morbius? Like a big thing in the seventies. I don't know. I feel like they had like they didn't have their time in the seventies. Paige and Charlie Usher. <laughs> yeah, he he would know. But uh, no, but he doesn't leave doesn't leave empty handed. He's got a uh, strange uh, device on his back, shaped like a spider. Uh, there, there's a couple. Nosferatu seventy nine, Dracula also seventy nine, Blackula seventy two. Okay, this Butter was Spite seventy nine. This was seventy one. So yeah, so no. They were trying to make it a thing and they succeeded. I mean, Good job, Sam. I mean, Dr- I mean, vampires are always a thing, but like, you know, like how like Twilight made vampires yeah. and like, but I you mean, know what I mean? Like, there's always those spurts. Yeah, well, uh, phrasing. But yeah, I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, Dracula was always been big. I mean, every couple of years, they were they're always like, you know, trying to do a new Dracula thing. Well, that, that hasn't, there hasn't been a new Dracula movie in like 20 years, maybe? Yeah, but I'm, th- I'm thinking probably like in the 60s and 70s, they were probably Probably cranking them out. You're right. Expo- expo- exploitation films and the, whatnot. You know, like, I, I don't know. Like the midnight. I, I don't know. The midnight yeah. monster movies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh! Just barely had enough strength to pin a spider tracer on him. Uh, but then the lizard wakes up. Spider Man, what happened to me? I now I remember. I saw that fiend and I turned into the lizard. So yes, it seems he's like, like no, no, no. Wait, you have six freaking arms, kid. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And right now we have Professor Lizard because it seems it's Kurt Connors in control of the lizard. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Professor Lizard. That's yeah. That's apropos. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, that's why I called you and bartered this place. So far, I haven't stumbled on any formula or potion to get rid of them. He's like, wait a minute. Was Morbius return? Not him, Doc. You. You're starting to change. Because he, he he he. Well, he shrinks. The, he's the Almost come back to Kurt Connors, except he looks like a scaly Kurt scaly? Connors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's even like flesh colored and everything, but yeah, he's scaly. Just the same. He lost, and he lost his right arm again. No. And if the lizard can lose an arm and still All be one. All the scales and none of the benefits. Get it? If, if, <laughs> if Morbius can drink from the lizard and make him lose his arm and still be somewhat lizardy, maybe it'll work for Spider Man. Sure. Mm. I don't think that I don't think the math adds up, but I'm just gonna keep it moving. He I'm had, not Charlie, so I don't care that much. He had no <laughs> he had he had no time to draw blood, yet he weakened me somehow. Hey Doc, you're shaking. I'm changing back to the lizard again. I know it, I feel it. As he changes Yep, he changes back, but you still got 
Doc's mind. Don't seek to give me orders, Spider-Man. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we must find a cure. So yes. Yeah, both our sakes. So the lizard's fighting for dominance here. So Spider-Man's like, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> oh, you see why Connor's changed back. I wish I could help you do my share of the work, but my hands are too awkward now. <laughs> Good thing you got six of them, buddy. Well, no, Lizard has. <laughs> Lizard no, has. No, I mean, yeah. you know, thank God Spider-Man showed up with six arms, you know. <clears throat> Perhaps, besides, for once, having six hands might be a plus. Now that I'm Convenient. learning. So, yeah, so he's separating chemicals and <laughs> the, the Lizard's just pontificating. Why well, must, we must find that creature, that cure, we must. And yet, why would I want to be Kurt Connors ever again when I can be the Lizard? Why would you want to be the lizard? You live in a sewer when you're the lizard. Seriously, you didn't get no women looking like that. Come on. Honey, hey, we're not here to kink shame. I'm uh, sure that's, there are some ladies. That's I true. mean, there's furries out there, so. There's women who date I don't too. know what they would call the opposite of furries. I don't, I don't know. But. Scalies. <laughs> Scalies. <laughs> See you later, bunkies. <laughs> I mean, I'm true, I guess. See you later, bunkies. There are women who date serial killers and stuff, so. Exactly. Uh, but we invented a whole new thing, scalies. <laughs> Whoa! Copyrighted at uh, one oh seven on July nineteenth. Whoa, that's pretty damn 2020. big. Uh, an enzyme? Maybe that's what the vampire put in me. Uh, of course. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to research and see if this is how this all works. I just, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> it's 1971 comic books. I'm sure this science holds up well. <laughs> uh, such a thing entering your body through his fangs must have affected your metabolism. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess it's subcutaneous and all that stuff. Uh, maybe. So maybe. They, so they mixed up their po potion, but they still need the enzyme. So. Then Morbius beware. That's just the best line of the book. And you can fight me if you don't think it is. <laughs> Morbius, something about that name strikes a familiar chord if only I could remember. Still, I must go with you. You could never handle him and administer the serum alone. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, we better move. He could be halfway to Transylvania by now. Rude. Racist. Racist, to be honest. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, Connors is barely holding on, so we better get this done. But yeah, Morbius has made it to New York, New York City. <laughs> so yeah, he, fi he finds a, uh, I guess, a deserted basement or built in this building. He has this boarded cellar. I mean, honestly, it's the perfect place. A whole bunch of douchebags that won't be missed. So true. So yeah, so fight me, New Yorkers. I don't care. I guess he goes to sleep for the day, and the way it began, we're gonna finally get the true origin of Morbius. Oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> Uh, but yes, he dreams of a laboratory hidden high in the hills of your native European land. You know, you know that that uh, generic European land. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, him and his buddy Nico start working on a big machine. Uh, because he's dying and he needs. He's looking. I guess he's looking for a cure also. That's how it goes, bro. That's Mike, how it goes. Michael Morbius, winner of the coveted Nobel Prize. Um, Dr. Doom would, would know this guy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yes. Reed Richards would know this guy. <laughs> but yes, he's working on vampire bats. Um, that, I'm not, that's just not a good idea. That's all I'm saying. I think we've all learned our lesson about that now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes his woman. Uh, I know you two prefer- Have you seen his face? Why is she so into him? He won a Nobel Prize. Oh, oh, she's a science groupie. Okay. She, she probably, I mean, I guess the same could be said for Sue Richards. Her man is flexible. Come on. Ooh. I know you two prefer to work in secret out here, but sometimes a woman gets lonely. Uh, Martine, calm it down. <laughs> the next phase of my research must be done at sea, a place where security will be total uncertain. She's like, I'm coming with you. No. It is not enough that fools snicker behind your back because you love one as hideous as myself. I mean, yeah, basically. And why would you, now? Why would you risk your life with radioactive materials? Uh, but she's like, yeah, I hear you, but I must go upstairs and pack. Uh, but you couldn't leave her behind, could you, Morbius? <laughs> well, that won't end well. Not the girl whose love flooded, flowed like blood through your veins. Get it, blood. Get it. So yes, they get their char their chartered yacht. 
which he bought with the last of his prize money. See, no bill comes with money. Yeah, I know. Uh, what new research are you doing? That more team must remain a secret even from you. Oh. But Nikos is ho hooking up the electroshock. Never speak of my work here again in front of her. You know my orders. <laughs> She's a courageous girl. I don't doubt her courage, but my own. The fluids we distilled from the bats have not slowed the illness, which not so what fluids are you distilling from those bats? You don't want to know. It's probably guano, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, but they do have electroshock devices, so there's that. Yep. Oh, sounds like a, sounds like a typical Lilith Hellfire Friday night date. Yeah, basically. We'll just strap you into this uh, electroshock. Don't ask questions. <laughs> You'll be all right. Oh, my. Uh, if he's like, if the work's a failure, he'll never live to see land again. Uh, but that final night, he tells her he has to leave early. Routine matters in the lab. Do not work too long. You seem so pale. Get it? So yeah, you seem much too bright. Much too bright. What's on his? I, I feel you, son. What's on his spacesuit? Uh, the electrical. Creation of blood cells is something never before attempted, let alone achieved. If we only had time to gauge all possible results. And yet you say we have no choice. For what poss what side effect could possibly be worse than death? Living without your loved one, of course. <laughs> so yeah, they sh do the shock. <laughs> For how long? Then Nikos is like, I can't stand it anymore. I'm turning it off. Are you alright? You screamed. Yes, I'm fine, but weak. So weak. Help me remove this so suit. Weak. So thirsty. Come a little closer. The lights in this place seem so bright. Yes. They put them in like. My grandma, what big eyes you have! <laughs> yeah, because they be, yes, puts them in an isolation tank. Then we lets them out. See, the door's open now. Oh, that can't be Michael. You're white as a. <gasps> does he even? Does he even drink him? Looks like he just chokes him to death. Yeah, he saved them for later. Neat pose. <laughs> yeah, but that's gonna be all cold. They got a microwave. It'll be alright. They got sun outside. <laughs> It'll be alright. Dad, because you love me, Nikos, because you cared. Perhaps you were the fortunate one. But what of me? What is this thing that Morbius has? Oh, man, the third person's already starting. Yeah, that's how you know he's turning you. The bat extract, the electrical shock, all acting on me somehow, turning me into... You know you, the word. You know the word. Well, don't you, Nikos? And the word is vampire. <laughs> air. Must have air. Must think. Martine asleep in the cabin. She will help me. She is a, she is compassionate, warm. Yes, warm. Rich blood. Rich blood coursing through her vein. Who is he, Venom? <laughs> God forgive me. What am I thinking? So he dives off the ship. Better far to end this stillborn mockery of life. Better far to die. He, well, good on you, sir. He dives in the water. I guess he still won't, he won't let himself drown because he comes up for air. I was a fool to leap overboard to sacrifice myself so other lesser beings might live. Uh oh. The ship which was mine is gone. But there will be other ships, other prey for Morbius, which gets picked up by the ship we saw last issue. I ain't picking up no guy that's dressed like that in the water. Sorry, I just kept going right on back. Seriously. Uh, but I still thirst as he's laying there in the basement dreaming all this. Then we see, I guess, uh, what, some homeless guy come down? Oh, yeah. Complaining about filthy hippies. Well, tis the season. <laughs> but he's like, hey, look, that door's open. Oh, it looks like a stiff. Maybe I can roll him for what? He's moving. <laughs> no. And that's what you get for being a pickpocket in New York City. Apparently. Yep. But then we see uh, calls coming in, all kinds of calls coming into the TV news service. Uh, Just another day on Long Island, to be honest. <laughs> swears he saw a prowler the usual hundred arms and this phantom had a oh tail and this phantom had a tail of the boot <laughs> could this be related to that Bowery bum they found dead a little while ago uh, but no the, the calls were coming in from Long Island this was Manhattan don't know what kind of kook spook they're seeing out there it could have nothing to do with that bum uh, no well, well, the phantom the with curse and the cure, the curse and the cure. That's right, because we the phantom with six arms and a tail was Spider Man swinging with the lizard. <laughs> Look how he's holding on. No grace at all, bro. 
I'm trying to track down a real life vampire with the lizard, my only ally. Right now, Liz's human and inhuman instincts seem to be waging a kind of inner tug of war. Only Doc Connors knows how to extract the enzyme from Morbius. But what if the side. <laughs> what if the lizard triumphs? Oh! Oh my god, the lizard's like, I can't take this anymore. Well, Peace out, homie. Well, yeah, they're swinging in midair. He's like, what am I doing here? Here, clinging to the form of my most hated enemy. Peace out! He tells him, yeah, Doc Connors, chill. He's like, Connors, the lizard has nothing to do with that weakling. I must be free as he lets go. Yeah, so Spider-Man has to grab him with a web line and save him. But save the which one? And as Connors is back in control, he's like, I must have been out of my mind. I'm all right now, thanks to you. You know, now that I think about it, I think a lizard, well, uh, Kirk, not Kirk Connors costume would be the easiest. You just keep your hand up, Mm -hmm. throw your lab coat on, Mm -hmm. put some glasses on and call it a day. There you go. Got to find that mystery, man, before it's too late. Too late for both of us. Oh, but, all right, guys, sorry, it's been so long since we got some Gwen Stacy crying. Let's get back to that. You're going to leave my Gwendy alone, okay? She's sitting there watching TV. So Pete was a bit rude on the phone. That doesn't mean he no longer loves you. Don't be so melodramatic, exactly. Everyone everyone has a bad day, but then why hasn't he called back these past two days, even though he told you he's going to be out of town for a while? She's Gwen, guys. She's Gwen. And either he's not at his apartment or else he's not just not answering when I call. I wonder if if his Aunt May. That's it. When he said he's out of when he said he'd be out of town for a while, that must be it. He must have went to Queens. (sighs) To be fair, Lynn is out of town. Yeah. (laughs) He must have just meant he'd be visiting May Parker in Queens. One phone call girl and you can trade in your crying towel. Can you, Gwen Stacy? Can you? Yeah, she calls Aunt May and she's like, oh no, he's not here. I'm certain he would have told me if he were going away. <laughs> Uh-oh. So one, so yes. Aunt May, she's blowing up the spot. Between that and then it's like, hey, guess who Pete forgot to call? Aunt May. <laughs> Dang. No, nothing's wrong, Mrs. Parker. I'm sure you're right. If Pete had told anyone he was leaving town, it would have been you. <laughs> She sits there crying. Uh, then we see Robbie at the bugle. Better show this to Jameson. Now somebody spotted the Long Island Phantom prowling around near the dock. Uh oh. Daily bugle's in trouble, guys. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few years since we've done this story. <laughs> if only somebody would buy the bugle. If you mean that recent circulation drop, <laughs> 71, you think circulation's bad now. <laughs> You're going to have to have a podcast, sir. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Wait a lot, 50 years. <laughs> if something doesn't happen fast, there won't be a Daily Bugle. It'll just be a podcast. <laughs> but then back to the lizard, who's just cruising around looking for victims. Until Spider-Man and the lizard show up. Yeah. Got to subdue Morbius. Get that enzyme. Where the lizard acts up on me again. This is one time. I'm lucky I've got three right fists. <laughs> Heyo. I'll be luckier if I can get rid of them. Uh, we want to help you as much as ourselves. He's telling Morbius. Morbius needs nothing, wants nothing, save human blood and life. So Spider-Man webs him free and get away. Again into the wall. Knocks him out cold. And the lizard Connors is like, it's better this way. It'll easier to extract the enzyme. Uh, I'll just hold him down to be sure. How will you separate the enzyme from his blood? Maybe I won't have to. Stating a bit of his blood to the serum prepared maybe to do the trick. Oh, jeez. They are just willy-nilly. There's no scientific method here. No OSHA, I'm telling you. Ah, the blood turned the potion blue, as we expected. Uh, so the lizard uh, injects himself first, and then... Yep, Connors comes back to normal. No arm, one arm and everything. Oh, that's a little sad. It changed me so quickly. I'm completely human again. Thank God. And Spider-Man. Hope it's not too ghoulish, but I noticed your extra arm disappeared too. Because he's like... Oh, he just recognized that man. Uh, yeah, because... Mor- oh, and worst of all, Michael Morbius. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Morbius wakes up and uh, kicks Spider-Man and grabs the potion and runs away. Spider-Man, he's got the serum. If he destroys it and then escapes, you may never be cured. <laughs> Destroy it, you whimpering fool. I mean to drink it. <laughs> That's when Connors recognizes Morbius. So Spider-Man goes swinging after Morbius. 
Mm. You've been pulling your punches with Morbius because deep down you identify with him. I like a good vampire story. It's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, the third the third person monologuing, it's a villain trope. I, yeah. I get it. Like I Pete, can do it. Pete's like, what would I do if I needed human blood? <laughs> Did you become a murderous man monster just as Morbius? Rob now? the blood bank. At least it's screened and pure. Well, not in the 70s, but... <laughs> 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 Oof. Yeah. You yeah. might be better off drinking random people. I was going to say, 71 screening. Yeah, it's human blood. Throw it in. Good enough. Throw it in. Go ahead, throw it in. Uh, oh, well, now they're on a garbage uh, barge. So well, yeah, because first Spider-Man gets to a, uh, a rooftop, and Morbius says, yes, I guess, gliding over the river, so he's like, he webs Rolling. him up. And smashes him in. Oh, smashes him into a bridge. Foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Spider-Man makes it to a garbage barge, and then uh, Morbius is going down in the river. But Spider-Man tries to web him, but only gets the serum, the potion. Mm. So yeah, he gets. Yo, people have like apparently a real big problem with with this issue specifically. I guess why? Oh, they just didn't like like all the like dialogue and oh. the boxes and stuff. So yeah, so yeah, Spider-Man has the potion and it gets back to Connors who... The and, potion! You mean the serum, son? Well, they call it both in this story. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. Connors administers it and he loses his extra arms. Convenient. A little too convenient. Maybe there's a monster locked inside each of us, Doc, just waiting to be unchained? <laughs> waiting to destroy us. We're, we're, we're all banner inside, you know? Whoa. It's true. You don't want to make a little hellfire anger. You really don't. <laughs> All right, so one last feedback from Ray. And then we can talk. Yeah, that. All right. So, all right, last one of the day. Ray from Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast. Hello again, you two. This is Ray. Just for some final feedback on Amazing Spider-Man 102. Thank you, Ray. A nice way to wrap things up with a, a really cool classic-style three-parter um, bumper issue. Uh, I enjoyed this, and uh, to follow up from my previous comments, so we did get a, a a rather wholesome origin of Morbius in Part 2, which was really satisfying. I really did enjoy this whole thing. I mean, I know in the scheme of things, if, if you compare it to modern-day writing uh it's a lot more simplistic but it's done well it's done in such a a way that it's fun and and quite accessible uh and uh you know it touches upon action and drama as well the actions uh, again very simplistic compared to some uh, more sophisticated use of power sets and and way ways that heroes and villains kind of fight but it, it still it still had a lot of fun um going for it uh this whole thing with the serum again a very kind of classic trope um, and uh, and and I was, to be honest, a little a uh, little sad to to see that the end of the Spider-Man's uh, six arms uh, kind of wrapped up really quickly. Um, I would have yeah hoped to see him with his six arms for or a bit longer because um, I I feel there was a lot of potential there. So I'm not sure whether he does get six arms later down uh, down his run again. Uh, it seems like something he would have because uh, I know there's a Marvel Legends figure. With him at least, or, or that could have been the doppelganger of his of this iteration. Anyway, it was a very fun issue, uh, wrapped up really well. I um, a lot of interesting fact about Morbius about having the light bones, um, but being quite strong as well. Uh, the depiction of, of Lizard, it's funny the way he was drawn there. He seems almost like a little frog-like or very uh, non-threatening look as a lizard. If you compare that to the Todd McFarlane and later ways that he's depicted very boom, boom, much boom, more boom, monstrous boom. Uh, he he's literally <laughs> like a replication of a of a lizard it seems uh, and they aren't necessarily kind of scary uh finally as well just the demise of Mo uh, morbius uh, i wonder whether the intent was to keep it open as to it was like a, a testing field as to whether this character would will work or not and they were, were happy to wrap him up if uh, he proved to be not as popular as they would have hoped uh turns out that he he was popular to an extent, um, so uh, so that's uh, so that's pretty cool, um, and, and I'm, I'm certainly glad. I find him interesting, an interesting character because he's kind of like an artificial vampire, which I find very interesting. Like he's manufactured 
um, through his own means. Um, so I guess he has he doesn't have that immortality. I mean, when he when he was underwater, it's not like he didn't need to breathe because he he did show that he he gasps for air as he went up. So he he hasn't got all the traits as he's the as, living uh, the vampire, right? vampires. But yeah, he, he's very much kind of like a a construct of one. Uh, finally, as well, I'm just going to throw it out there again. Uh, my favourite phrase of this issue was flaccid remorse. <laughs> now, I'm not sure about you, but uh, I'm sure there are some people out there that, that have flaccid remorse. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to admit whether I have had <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd, I'd uh, lay that out there. And um, So they get his woman on the phone. As you will. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway, catch you later. <laughs> oh my god, Lil, we have broken him. You know, realize that? Oh, I just brought out the real Ray. That's all. That's all I did. <laughs> oh my lord, just more into the Moon Knight fans, though. Oh, <laughs> I mean, he's a little more serious on his show, but it's just like, oh my lord, his poor woman. He- I'm just waiting for that call one day. Just like he's walking around the house talking about fickle pickles and. <laughs> <laughs> What the F? That's Finn's new nickname. Finn is a fickle pickle. Oh. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, good lord. All right. Yeah, so. I, I don't know. I, I like, even though it's like 70s cheesiness, I still think it's a pretty fun story. I especially love 102 the most just because it's giant size and we actually do get that origin and they do clean yes. it up. It is wrapped up too neatly with a bow. But I'll take that over that being like a mini series, a 12 issue mini series. Honest to God. <laughs> Did you ever read What If 42 from 1992? I don't, I don't think I did. It's, it? it's What If he, Spider-Man had kept those arms. Oh. And like the, the big plot point is like he can't cure himself because as Morbius, I guess, is gliding over the ocean, he gets eaten by a shark. Oh, damn. The disrespect. <laughs> but eventually he, he gets a normal life because like at the end he goes to Reed Richards who gives him like some kind of devices for four of those arms to make him invisible when he's Peter Parker. Honestly, that's kind of what I thought they might go for. And then they go, nope, it's a dream. Stan lied. <laughs> I so mean, I 71. I don't think they're ready to go. Yeah, let's make him full man spider. But hey, yeah, man. But, you know, it's nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Good story. Origin of <laughs> Origin of Morbius. So I'm gonna have to tag. So I'm gonna have to tag this on YouTube. Origin of Morbius. Oh, Get ready yeah. for the movie that'll never happen. <laughs> it'll come. It'll come next year. You said right? Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. Thirty seconds, and we'll get there. <laughs> All right, little hellfire. Anything else? Uh, no. Pickle, pickle. Anything else? <laughs> No, no drops for you today. <gasps> oh, you never know. Here, let me pull up the schedule for next time. I know it's more Morbius people, so. <laughs> but wait, there's more Morbius. That's only the origin. Uh, there's my schedules. See, people. Unfortunately, this is these are all planned. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it was little fish, you'd be like, ah, just throw it in. All right, so we are August. So yes, next time will be we jump to the nineties for Peter Parker Spider-Man seventy-seven through eighty, right after the Clone Saga. Don't worry, Lil, yeah, if you missed it. Oh, I know. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then the week after we'll be doing some Ultimate Spider-Man ninety-five and ninety-six. Get you some emo. Get you some emo, uh, Morbius. And then of oh, course he's a living vampire. He's just gonna be emo all the time. That's <laughs> right. And again, of course, we wrap up the month with, uh, Scarlet Spider with, uh, this time, this month it'll be Spider-Man Funeral for an Octopus. <laughs> Poor Charlie. Charlie sending flowers, <laughs> that's right. And then next month it's just a mix of stuff I like from the 90s. And that isn't Ben Riley. <laughs> no, it's not Ben Riley. Uh, so yeah, that's September. And then we all know it's coming in October, right? Shocktober! Get ready, people! Uh, and November. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> gobble, gobble. And then, of course, we wrap it up this year with December's Sinister six Miss. That's the best one. Go Thanks. home. Everybody, every other comic book podcast can go home in December. Okay? 
Oh if yes. I catch CBR doing anything about Sinister Six, we're starting a Twitter beef. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. So uh, yes, including in December our big 100th episode, which I th- believe is going to be a big live reading. Oh lord. <laughs> oh the humanity. <laughs> I still need you to pick. You, you want to be Aunt May or Betty Brant? <laughs> Betty Brant. You already know. Oh yeah, that's uh, that. Not the typecast, but that seems uh, about right. <laughs> that's about. right. She got a she got a bunch of dead bodies on her tab too. All right. So anyway, yes. Yeah, send us your thoughts. Uh, I'm always follow us. Uh, we'll email your Morbius stuff, Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail six one four three eight two two seven three seven. That's six one four thirty eight Capes. And remember to follow Ultimate Spider Cast on Facebook, Twitter. And remember, I put up uh, what we're doing that month. So if you want to send in feedback, just check the Facebook or Twitter. So you know what we're doing. Can read and send in feedback like Ray. You know. Sounds like a blind man. Be like man. Ray. Be a good egg. Be like Ray. That's right. And me and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Patreon, where we talk all things Star Trek. Uh, find links to everything, all in one convenient place. That's Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors. Tweaked audio, hunt a killer. That's right. Be like Spider-Man. Hunt a killer. Pod Life, the book, now in digital paperback. And when you go on Amazon to buy that and more, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, the network, and of course, that he who lurks in the shadows also, Rob, Master Doom, Southgate. Make it rain. So says Master Doom. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Little Hellfire. Um, if you know want to hang off me on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire or on the gram at Lil Hellfire 69 or at Lil Hellfire 86. I see it. I want it. I get it. <laughs> okay, Morbius. <laughs> All right. So, yes, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ray, for the in depth feedback. Again, next time, we swing into the 90s with. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, 77 through 80. So send your feedback. But until then, swing on back. Thwip, thwip!